passionate about, something that really serves me. I want to add value. I want to just piggyback on, on what you just said is journaling. You know, this is like huge. Every single day, one of the things I do before I, before I end anything is I want to just understand what are the things I did good, what are the things I did bad. And this is like one of the things that I've taught my mastermind members as well. And this is the, like one of the formats is you want to write five achievements that you have. You want to have the confidence. You want to have the relaxed confidence that Mel talked about. You must, uh, you know, document your achievements. Maybe Many people many times overthink a lot. They're like, oh, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, and you know, it, it creates more of that I'm not good enough feeling. But you wanna look back, instead of just looking for the next three days, you wanna look back for the last 24 hours and see what five things that I do, that, that I did do, that actually makes me feel good. Oh, I made some progress. I didn't go to the gym, but I actually called the gym to know about the membership. That's a good achievement, because momentum creates more momentum. Uh, movement creates improvement and you know like for example if I just show you Mel and all the people who are watching right now these are just some of the journals I've been writing on for the last like these are done written down completed journals for the last few months and I only do that because when I'm when I'm gone from this world like 50 100 150 years from now I want my next generation of people to see this and say Man, this guy was disciplined. This guy was somebody who was actually documenting his success and what he was doing and writing down his goals. And I think that's very, very important. And so that's how I have achieved my peaceful sleep, you know, doing those things. And what Mel was talking about just now, those those rituals, you know, your your bed should be in a certain way. You know, you should, if not too much light. You know, for example, one of the things I, I heard about is this great writer called Gary Halbert, one of the highest paid copywriters in the world, um, had this uh, habit of every single morning uh, waking up, and this is not about morning routine, but this is about ritual. Every single morning after waking up, he had one um, cappuccino without sugar on his table ready when he actually came to the home office. He had this one single pen that he was accustomed to writing with for the last 10 years he had this one journal and every single morning he came and for 45 minutes wrote that's all he did for 45 minutes it was ready for him who made it ready for him he made it ready the night before so when he woke up in the morning it was all jammed and primed so Mel is talking about that so Mel let's go for the morning routine once you have a peaceful evening we we have a good sleep we sleepfully um, peacefully sleep and we wake up in the morning what do you recommend for people after that you know, I, I love this.